Hard traveling, I thought you knowed. I've been a having some hard traveling way down the road. I've been a having some hard traveling, hard rambling, hard gambling. I've been having some hard traveling, Lord. I've been riding them fast rattlers, I thought you knowed. I've been riding them flat wheelers way down the road. I've been riding them dead enders, blind passengers, picking up cinders. I've been having some hard traveling, Lord. Well, I've been a hitting some hard rock mining, I thought you knowed. I've been leaning on a pressure drill way down the road. Hammer flying, air hose sucking, six foot of mud and a show been a mucking, and I've been a having some hard traveling, Lord. I'm about to narrate the new Feel My Chest Muscles, part de. Yeah. What are we going to call this thing? I have no idea. Fold it and hold it? That's a thought. I don't know. Idea behind the DVD? Uh, I guess we just want to go to Australia and New Zealand and basically have no money. So I was like, hey, what's up, Mad Dog? Hook it up and maybe Stu can make a video. And next thing you know, bingo, bango, we got flights. Everybody's trying to sort out their passports. Nutter's got 150 warrants out everywhere and is terrified of flying. Stressing. Fresh off the press, going overseas, first time. Hurry up and wait. The flight was about a week long. I don't know, it went pretty good, I guess. Just kind of hagged when we got off the plane. Land in Sydney, drinking some Australian mud. Yeah, super stoked besides the bikes just being MIA, but we were so stoked it didn't even matter. Hoping this Jason Cousins dude shows up. Just kind of, oh, there he is. Found him, stoked. Don't even know the guy, but he picks us up and he lives in this van, pretty sick. Bit of a Australian legend. Finally get to Jared's house. Jared lives in Mount White. A couple days into the trip, finally got the bikes. Building up the whips. Jared's a sweet dude, probably the saltiest cunt in all of Australia. He's probably mad about this right now, but... <laughs> no, I love Jared. Trails are basically in his backyard. Blue groove in the porch. That's pretty much the morning ritual. Take a dump drink some mud and kick the ball around. Look at these crazy ratty birds that are just everywhere. Been looking forward to riding this place for a long time so it was awesome to finally get out there. Yeah, the trails are some of the sickest trails I've ever ridden. Really made well and made out of some crazy clay. I think there's a lot of salt in the clay. <laughs> We got some rainstorms while we were out there, so had to just work on some pits to get some stuff rideable, but it's almost kind of nice to work on stuff before you ride so you get to kind of know where you're at before you just roll in and start sending it. But kind of a mish, it's good to have a crew, a lot of hands to get stuff rideable. It's hard to do solo. I don't know, Jared proves that broom technique, but we're doing it. That's a skull of a former uh, rider. <laughs> Damn, going for the mount. Gay for clay.
cool spot. That was great people out there. So it was awesome to ride the jumps with everybody and get to hang with the boys. Sick cunts. We're taming some, uh, some curls. No dirt curls right now, but I'm about to pan out a couple surf lessons. Nutter buys $500 surfboard. That was all of his money for the trip. Used it once and ends up leaving it there. <laughs> I'm ready to make history, dude. Look at that run. You gotta be kidding me. He surfed maybe never before. So this is our first time getting the toes wet. The swell is humongous, as you can see. Doesn't look like there's anything even out there. Just waiting. Um, we thought we were just gonna kill it on the surfboards, but quite the contrary. It's uh, a little harder than it looks. It's more like survival, really. Yeah, it's not pretty. <laughs> we were having fun, though. Here we go, about to drop in, about to shred. Oh, I'm doing it! Nope. <laughs> it's tough, it's so hard. Oh, there you go, Manny. <laughs> Damn, Scorp Dog. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're out there, you're like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> humbled, totally humbled. And now, a little frustrated. <laughs> My arms are basically wet noodles at this point. Defeated. <laughs> Bondi Beach, babes, pearls, sick bull. Uh, Credence crew on the Bondi Beach, neck and neck frogs, pin the bowl hard. Bowl sick. It's good training and roasty. Yeah, just stoked to ride. Met up with BC right there. Sweet dude. In that stash. Stoke was high right there. Oh, the bowl was awesome. Wish I got another session there. I'd like to go back. BC coming in with the ute. The dudes took care of us. Shout out to the dudes. Thank you guys. We were basically in the sticks the whole time, so we had a little bit of time to pedaling around Sydney, hitting the streets hard, getting some shit done out there, putting in work. <laughs> no, more like cruising around and doing some manuals and checking some stuff out. Another logging some street clips. <laughs> hitting the rollers. Yeah, another. <laughs> Got in a crazy car accident. A police car ended up T-boning us. Just hit my head and like crushed my arm a little bit. Barely made the flight. Yeah, slightly dazed at what just happened. But off to New Zealand to meet up with Caleb and uh, old Nate Dog. 